Good. I do not like to stand idle. must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves, and take their nether stones. The city is close now. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. Excuse me, I can't find my mum. She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day though. My mum would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Nearly there now. You can see. <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. Really there now. I do not understand why the matrons, sorry, patriarchs of the city do not open their gates to the refugees. I was not suggesting they be allowed to roam free. They should be put to work. The city needs laborers and fodder to protect it. I am suggesting they be fed and sheltered, and that they work in return. Call it whatever you wish. Perhaps you think it would be better for them to starve or be slaughtered here, while the citizens hide behind their walls. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. A little more than that. 
You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. I should speak up. Citizen, you are being accompanied by a malfunctioning steel watcher. Please stand back. <laughs> uh, I think you have the wrong hunk of metal. False. Report your purpose, steel watcher. Why are you following these citizens unbidden? Ah. I understand your malfunction. Your unit is a highly outdated model. The Ragnax casement protecting your metallurgized ice valves is burning well outside the recommended temperature. Please report to the Steel Watch Foundry for dismantling. man if i report to this foundry can my engine be fixed your make is very obsolete repairing your engine would be not only impractical but impossible report to the steel watch foundry for immediate dismantling yeah yeah tell me something i don't know not sure Maybe whatever keeps them going is similar to my tin can. Turns out I'm the fucking prototype for these things. I'll dismantle every single one of them. Any threat to the Steel Watch is a threat to Lord Gortash himself. Please report to the Steel Watch Foundry for immediate dismantling. Yeah. Anything spicy you can tell me about the old prick? You will speak of our creator, Lord Enver Gortash, with respect. He is the savior of our city, currently being inducted as the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. You will keep your distance, Steel Watcher. You are malfunctioning. Report to the Steel Watch Foundry for immediate dismantling. Let's make tracks before this thing gives me the Edict of Bane. See you around, soldier. Soon time will make an exception. As long as you stop sulking and start walking right If I was a shower and lookout, what in the hell was that? Like a place I'd wait around. Whatever it is doesn't bode well. against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. You, you're a true Baldarian, I can tell. You must understand why we need to keep these strays out of our city. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. Between you and me, I don't think there are enough flaming fists here for these refugees. Us Baldurians can't feel safe with so many of them roaming about without proper supervision. 
Let's hope Archduke Gortash can make a difference. Beggars are criminals, and we won't have them. Final report, and I'm sure the men at the... You see them over there? Refugees? Ha! Not but a cover. I know what they really are. Died in the wool agents of the absolute. Mark my words. There's probably only a handful of rotten apples among them. Or, you know what they say about rot? It spreads quickly, ruins the whole bunch. Protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. They're beggars and criminals, and we won't have them. File a report, and I'm sure the manic will deal with it. Coddling these vagabonds, and don't give a rat's ass about honest. Don't pay me any mind now. I'm just trying to make sure everyone gets fed. Step forward. Heads will roll for this. This, this transgression. This injustice. I don't give a shit about all that. It's how I've been treated, which is the real travesty. A perfectly respectable businessman wants to bring his, well, business into this fine city. And what do they do? They talk some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing procedures and threw me in this slam. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress by now, not waddling about in filth. Lord on the rack, give me patience. These protesters keep harassing the refugees. It's horrid. I just hope the Ilmata Temple opens up aid again soon. We need their help here. Actually got here safely. Towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? My sister-in-law. All law and no sister. My son Garen is pleased we got this far together. But his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. Why can't he tell her to put a sock in it? Don't know how we're gonna get Grunch into the city, wounded as he is. But we have to. We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Whatever you need. 
I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends, and I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. Well, I guess he better get well, and soon. Washing my pits, washing my pits, this is the song when I'm... Oi! But I've not got any bleeding privacy around here. Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. Hail, friend. Fine day, isn't it? Forgive me, you're in no mood to talk about the weather. Your journey here was a hard one, no doubt. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? It's a fine city, isn't it? No better place to hail from. Used to be you'd arrive knowing you had a full belly and a warm bed waiting for you. Not anymore. These days, there's belly enough to go around. I had the refugees on top and well. Folk aren't feeling too generous. Some well-to-do's in the city donated enough to see the newcomers right for the time being. Only they didn't bother helping everyone else. Locals going without while strangers feast. It stoked the fire, all right. Some Baldarians are kicking up a fuss round the front of the barn as we speak. If I wasn't wearing this uniform, I'd walk round there and teach them a lesson they'd never forget. Too bloody right. But will they share? Not a chance. Those refugees have been leeching on our city for too long. If we don't show them that we mean business, we'll bleed us dry. We need to march round the front and kill every last one of them. Let's see them eat our food with their guts on the floor. What do you say? Why does it matter? Innocence makes the blood run clearer. So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the Bone Lord's thrall. Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? 
Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. You'll need to bleed and carve this city if you want to turn him to grave meat. He shivers at the thought. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Orin is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? <laughs> 